For the humanitarian community, climate security is a daily reality. Our 17 million volunteers witness the impacts of climate change on a daily basis. And it's not just the changing extremes and the impacts on our natural resources, it is also adding tensions about natural resources, for instance, issues that we've usually confronted in the past, but that are getting more acute in a changing climate. In order to address the climate security risks we face today, we really need the two pillars that the Paris Agreement also specifies. So in order to avoid the risks getting out of hand in the long term, we will need to do something about greenhouse gases. But in the shorter term, the risks are actually almost the same, regardless of what we do on those greenhouse gases. So it's really urgent. We also look at adaptation to climate change, as it's been traditionally framed, but then not just in that sense of separate standalone projects often planned out, out of environment ministries. But this actually does require the engagement of a much wider community. And we've seen the development community come to the fore in the most vulnerable countries to try and integrate climate risks into their work. What we're seeing increasingly is that the humanitarian community also needs to confront these risks. We had those discussions in the World Humanitarian Summit last year, for instance. And increasingly, it's also the security community, unfortunately, that now has to confront these challenges.